They say that schools with low-income students aren't achieving. They say that school districts across the nation aren't up for the challenge that urban schools face. And we say, take a look at the South Learning Community of Fulton County Schools. The South Learning Community celebrates its thriving 30. They are holding themselves accountable to rigor, relevance, and relationships that intentionally achieve a vision of normalized excellence. The South Learning Community, or the SLC, is so special because it has some of our nation's, our county's most exciting, most vulnerable students, and the impact is so great. And there's been such great work already done to move the needle to ensure that all kids have an excellent education. And what I love about it is that there's such a commitment to excellence, really normalizing excellence and constantly getting better, constantly going and having your at-bats, per se, always improving because we know that impacts our students. The South Learning Community has just grown exponentially over the last five years, particularly. Um, we have seen the um, certification of a state STEM school. Evelyn C. West, my school, was named a state STEM certified school. Well, in the SLC, there is an intentional focus on the student. And when we say the student, we mean the whole student. And when you surround a student completely with everything that they need uh, to be successful, academic achievement is the byproduct of that. Having the right people in place across the SLC allows us to be effective for kids. The reality of our schools, we share students. A student that's at my school might be at another school um, in the next month or two. And having strong leaders in those buildings that collaborate together allows for kids to win. It allows for them to have the best learning outcomes possible. The Thriving 30 is led by Dr. Jima Whitaker, a veteran education thought leader who has assembled a strong team of school leaders and implemented an effective plan for school and student growth. My philosophy on education begins with really that building leader. I believe that if I pour deeply, if the learning community, the executive team, the leadership, pours deeply into those leaders. Those leaders then will pour deeply into those teachers. And then those teachers will pour deeply into those students. Dr. Whitaker has put um, many structures in place that allow us the opportunity to collaborate as teachers. We work together as a family, we share strategies. We come together, we look at our data continuously, and we learn from each other. I've been to several districts um, before and I've never seen or never been a part of such a collaborative effort where everyone has a collective accountability for success. Schools in the Thriving 30 have made significant gains on the statewide comprehensive school improvement and accountability platforms, achieving increased scores among 24 of the 30 schools, with 19 schools earning a four or five Climate Star rating. Six schools shed the CCRPI grade F. Four schools moved from CCRPI grade of D to C. Three schools moved from a CCRPI grade of C to B. McNair Middle School moved from a CCRPI grade of F to C. Seven schools increased their overall CCRPI scores. Sandtown Middle School moved from a CCRPI grade of D to B. That's amazing progress. Cliftondale Elementary School moved from a CCRPI grade of F to B. Incredible! Schools in the Thriving 30 are solving the puzzle of academic growth and overcoming challenges that normally impact students who face a host of obstacles. I think the South Learning community is thriving because we have such a great collection of educators. And I think people sleep on the South side, but we have such a wealth of knowledge to share. The South Learning community is so special because we have special people, uh, special events, special activities, special children. Um, in our community, uh, we work together and we help each other. I guess you could sum it up in you know, like three words. It's you know, hardworking, um, the collaboration that we have, and just holding each other accountable. And the past couple of years, that's, that's what's been holding, you know, holding us together, the accountability piece. Everyone has a goal to, you know, to set for their individual schools and has a goal for 
on the district. Schools in the thriving 30 are beating the odds. They are holding themselves accountable to rigor, relevance, and relationships that intentionally achieve a vision of normalized excellence. Through transformational leadership, students are achieving and schools are thriving.